Ah, welcome to the Great Baccarino Show with me, the Great Baccarino. It is a show full of questions and a show full of answers. And today's predictions, Paul will pull strange faces by the sea. The rather dashing reporter confronts sharks under the sea. And there will be glass that helps you to see. Me. Yes, yes, very good mystic mutt. But they're not predictions, that's just what's in the show. Uh, what? Hey, uh, uh, okay, uh, I predict you will be bombarded with baseball boots. Baseball boots? <laughs> Hang on a minute, let me just look at my script. Baseball boots, no, bamboo shoots, not baseball boots. Ooh! And finally today, I predict Miss Chicken will reappear with a torch strapped to her head, and I won't understand why. Just read the letter and I'll go and get ready. OK. Now, this letter is from Rebecca Sample, who's seven and comes from County Armagh in Northern Ireland. And she writes, Dear Mr. Barker, what I want to know is how you paint a lighthouse. Well, that's a very sensible question, my young friend. But, 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 what I want to know is what on earth Miss Chicken thinks she's doing with a torch on her head. You're warning me of danger? Yeah. <laughs> well, what danger are we in? Are we in danger of another Paul Hendy film coming up? <laughs> Don't think I didn't hear that, Mr. Barker. Oh, oh Paul, uh, I wasn't expecting you so soon. Oh, what do you mean, danger? Paul, you'll never believe what Miss Chicken thinks. Shush, Miss Chicken thinks that... She... I'm discussing this show with Paul now. Please, Barker! That's got to hurt. Well, Mr. Barker, I'm standing here at the most southerly point of mainland Britain, Lizard Point, and making sure that no ships crash into me is that Lizard Lighthouse. It was built almost 400 years ago, but was destroyed by smugglers. Not jugglers, smugglers. This is Eddie, who's been a lighthouse keeper for 42 years. So how often do you have to paint the lighthouse then, Eddie? Every six years, Paul. And you just slap it on with a roller? Oh, no, it's done by professionals, power washed and then painted. And can you choose any colour you want? Oh, no, it must be white. Easier for ships to see during the day. Right, uh, white it is then. Thanks, Eddie. <clears throat> now, once you've chosen the colour, it's time to rig up the bosun's chair. Now, putting a sailor's cap and rope onto a seat doesn't make it a bosun's chair, does it? No, no. This is a bosun's chair. Now, on a ship, the bosun is the person responsible for the rigging. That's the ropes that make the sail go up and down. And on the lighthouse, it's a similar principle. And here's Rod, who's in charge of painting the lighthouse. Hello there, Rod. Hi, Paul. How's this work, then? We clear the chair up to this, sit in it, wind yourself up to the top, and start painting. You'd better get on with it, then, mate. OK. Night and day, you are the one, only you neath the moon or under the sun, whether near to me or far. Can you tell what it is yet? It's no matter, darling, where you Very good, Rod. Um, I think you missed a bit, mate. <laughs> I'm only joking. What about painting the roof? Follow me. Well, Night and day. So how many litres of paint does it take to cover the entire lighthouse? 80 litres. 80 litres, that's an entire bath full of paint. Oh, well, uh, off you go to the roof then, I'll hold the ladder, I think. Uh... Night and day under the high He's very good. Of me. There's an oh such a hungry burning inside of me. Pretty impressive, eh? Now all you have to do is wait. This job's like watching paint dry. Still waiting. Still a bit tacky. You haven't forgotten about me, have you? Oh, oh no! She said it's time for... On the Gong. Hello and welcome to... On the Gong! This is where we put Mr. B in the spotlight and say, hey, Mr. Barker, impress us. Yeah, check this out, Polly. I meant impress us with your brain power, but <laughs> moving on, asking the questions today, it's Rodborough County Primary School in Stroud. Hi, Mr. Barker. Hello to you. I'm going to win, so there. 
Well, let's see, shall we? Don't forget, if Mr Barker gets any questions yeah. wrong, our glamorous assistant, Miss Chicken, or as we like to call her, Jenny Fowl, yeah. will bong the gong! Yeah. Oh, dear. Feeling confident, Mr B? Yeah, I'm feeling as confident as a shark entering a sharp teeth contest. Let's move on, then. Let's <laughs> have the first question, please. Florence! Please. Dear Mr Barker, who invented the saxophone? Oh, yeah, I know this one, because he was named yeah. after him. It's uh, Adolf Sax! Is yeah. the correct answer. Well done, mm. Mr B. Let's go to Thaisa for the next question. Is the world round? Is the world round? Uh, yeah. Yes, the world is round! Yes, yes, yes. Correct answer, yes, Mr. Yes, B. Yes, Let's yes. go to Kieran for the next yes, question. Yes, yes. What comes out of a volcano? Oh, the volcano. Custard. Only joking. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Lava, lava, lava. Correct yeah. answer, yes, Mr. Yes, B. Yes. Let's go to Rhiannon, please. Okay, okay. What is the name of the money that is used in France? Um, uh, all the money used in France is francs. I wonder how Frank feels about this. Oh, <laughs> ooh, correct answer. Good gag. Well done, <laughs> Mr. Balkram, for the last <laughs> question. Let's go to Tom. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which is biggest, the sun or the moon? Oh, good, it's this question. The winner lose the contest, Danny. It? It's the sun, it's the sun! Here's the correct yeah! answer. Yeah! There goes the hooter. Mr B, you scored five yeah. out of five, Ooh. which means that Rodborough County Primary School didn't beat Aww. the brain of Barker. Yeah. Oh, no! Yeah, never mind, you almost got me with the sun and moon oh. question. Mr Barker, you've got the brightest doggy brain in Britain. <gasps> That's it for today's... Bong the Gong. Today, the superb and special spike that shocks sharks. Welcome along to W.O.W. Weird or What? A look at the stranger side of nature. We all know animals have different gimmicks to get them out of trouble. The bee has its sting, the skunk has its smell, and the chicken has its rocket packs. Rocket packs? <laughs> Miss Chicken! Miss... What are you doing, Miss Chicken? <laughs> D uh, I'm, uh... Sorry about that, viewers. Where was I? Oh, yes. Let's take a look at the horn shark, who has a special trick to stop other sharks from gobbling it up. Over to Mr. Barker, our reporter in the field. How many more times, Mr. Handy? I'm not in the field. I am stuck underwater waiting for the horn shark to show up. Oh, there's a big angel shark camouflage just over there. There's the horn shark. Oh, don't make any sudden movements. Yikes! Look at the size of his mouth. It's like a giant squishy fish eating letterbox. Oh, oh the horn shark has blubbed his last fishy blub blub. Oh dear. But no, because of two very painful spiny spikes on the smaller shark's back, the angel shark decides against his fishy meal for one. <laughs> Phew, thank goodness that shark is gone. I do get up to some dangerous things for this show, Mr. Handy. <laughs> yeah, you get up to dangerous things. Huh? Go. No, Miss Chicken, stop eating Papua New Guinea, for goodness yeah. sake. To win this wonderful talking globe, all you have to do is answer this question. What is the world's largest ocean? Is it A, Pacific, B, Atlantic, or C, Indian? That's what is the name of the world's largest ocean, A, Pacific, B, Atlantic, or C, Indian. Call this number now and leave your answer. 891 22 That's 891 22 Calls cost a maximum of 25 pence and lines stay open till midnight on Sunday. One winner will be picked at random and announced at the end of next week's Dear Mr. Barker. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, ask permission from the person who pays the bill and dial carefully. <laughs> Andrew Davis, who's 10 and lives in Mottram, has emailed me and he writes, Dear Mr. Barker, could you please tell me how spectacles are made? Hmm. And Sarah Elson from Guildford is going to find out what the answer is. Over to you, Sarah. Hey, Mr. Barker, over here. This is my local optician and this is where my new glasses will be made. But first I need to have an eye test. The opticians will check how well my eyes are working with a series of tests. They will see if I have any problems seeing things close to or far away. If I do, I may need new glasses to help me see better. That's it. Well, that was fun. Now for the best bit, choosing the frames. Glasses are great and lots of stars wear them. Scary Spice, Ronan from Boy's Own, Mr. Barker, Paul. There are loads of friends to choose from the opticians in all colours and all shapes. There's plastic, metal, big, small, round and square. Once I've chosen the friends, the assistant tells me what type of lens is best. 
The lens is the bit I see through. Then technician Tim will make my glasses for me. Hello, Sarah. We've got thousands of lenses in stock, so from your prescription, we can get the best lenses for you. This here is a semi-finished lens. It's rather big, so to get this into your frame, it's going to take a lot of work. We take the lens and cover the front with plastic to stop it getting scratched. Then it is placed on the grinder and we grind away from the back using a diamond wheel to get the lens to the right thickness to see through. As the grinder leaves a rough surface, we have to smooth it down with different pads to make it shiny and polished. We then trace the frames in this machine. When we put the ground lens in here, it will automatically cut the lenses to the right size for the frame. Well, Mr. Barker, what do you think? Oh, I think they look great on you, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, thank you for your little film. Uh, oh, oh uh, Miss Chicken, yeah. please could you read out the next letter? Only uh, me and Paul are a little bit busy right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, uh, Alex, who's three and lives in Stroud, wants to know why do crabs walk sideways? Yeah. Well, that's a good question, Alex. <laughs> yeah. Another good question would be, why have I got Wellingtons on sticks? Uh, uh, oh, we'll become clear, Paul. And uh, Miss Chicken? Oh, uh, she's the pencil lady. You'll get it in a minute. Uh, patience, Mr. Henry. <laughs> now, uh, crabs are decapods, that is, ten-legged. Uh, the first set of legs are adapted to form pincers. The remaining four pairs of legs do the walking. And crabs can walk forwards and even backwards. But because their feet are so close together, they can only take small, tiny, weeny steps. Hmm. It's easier for them to walk sideways because they can take bigger steps and so they run faster. Uh, we will now demonstrate. Okay, troops, here we go. Uh, I'm going to go in the middle here. Okay, you ready? Okay. Um, uh, and, uh, Forwards! Oh, <laughs> out, out, my feet! Oh, yes, my feet! Oh, 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 oh. It's a bit of a muddle, Mr. Bogger. Yeah, yeah. Let's try backwards. Oh, OK, yeah, OK, go, backwards. OK, one, two, oh, 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 out! Oh, 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 no, that's not really working either. No. Let's try sideways. Sideways. Here okay, we go. Three, and uh, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, 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 left, don't tell me. She said, watch out for the books. Ooh. <laughs> well, that's all we've got time for today. Thanks for all our questionnaires. Yes, if we answered your question, guess what? You'll be getting a T-shirt just like this one. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good cluck with the competition. Very funny, Miss Chicken. And if you've got a question you'd like us to answer, then here's our address. It's dear Mr. Barker. P.O. Box 1545. <laughs> London W12, 60 for dog, B for biscuit. And our email address is dear Mr. Parker at BBC Co. UK. See you next time. Bye. Mm. I need to hop back to yeah, see my bruises. I've got a bit of a myself. Yeah. Yeah.